Hey everyone, Kevin from MechanicalAdvantage.com uh, and today I'd like to kind of continue on with the last video that I did on defaults inside of the CAM environment. And the defaults I want to talk about setting now are the ones that you simply can't right click on and say make default. And let's cover two examples of that. So from the 2D menu, I'm going to select the facing option and I'm going to go select a tool. And the tool I'm going to grab is going to be, we'll use this three inch face mill. I'm going to click OK. And on the geometry, I'm not going to change anything. The heights, I'm going to go to, with the default. The passes, I'm going to stay default. And in the linking, I'd like to turn on extend before retract. And when I check on that box, what that will do is allow the tool to go past half the diameter of the cutter before it lifts off the workpiece. You can see if I right click on this, all it does is checks the box. If I right click on a white input box, I have the ability to make that default. So for now, let's go ahead and turn that on and then click OK. And we're not going to do anything. I'm going to go do another drilling operation first. So in the 2D menu up here on the drilling, I guess, we're going to select drilling. And let's go select the spot drill. So I have one here as a quarter inch spot drill we can use. And for the geometry, I'm going to select that face. I want to turn on a select same diameter, which is one that I commonly use. So I'm going to turn that on. And it's going to go find the rest of the holes. And for the heights, I'm going to cut from hole top to hole top and go down an offset of minus 0 0.05 inches and click OK. And there's my spot drill. So now for both of these, what I can do is right click on this and say compare and edit. This now is all the different dialog inputs that we put on the different tabs inside of the operation. These are all those dialogs in one spot. There's probably a couple additional ones here as well. You can come down here and see things that are different things that are non-default, warnings and errors, editable fields, or modified fields. What I want to do is come and search for one. So in this white box, I'm going to type in select. I'm sorry, I'm going to type in extend is the what I want to do for this one. Is extend says extend before retract. It's currently set to yes. Now what I can do is right click and say make default. And I'll go ahead and click OK. Then I'm going to go to this drilling operation and I'm going to right click and say compare and edit on this. Now in this one, I'm going to go down to this field, and this is where I want to type in select. Select the name diameter is currently set to yes. Right click, make default. Go ahead and click OK. Now let's drill. Let's uh, delete these two operations off, and do a 2D face. We'll go select a tool. I'll grab that same Superfly, and when I go to the linking tab now, extend before retract is already checked. Okay, so we'll click OK on that, and we'll do a drilling. Go select a tool. I'm going to select my quarter inch spot drill again. Select that. Click on my geometry. And notice that select same diameter is already checked. So that is how you can turn on defaults for things that don't have the ability to right click on their fields and set them as default. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, I'd greatly appreciate it if you subscribed. Uh, also, if there's things you want to see in the comments, go ahead and let me know. Uh, I'd love to address the things that the viewers would love to see. So thanks, thanks for watching and have a good day.